Welcome to the spoken tutorial on courses in Moodle. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a course and how to perform actions on courses. To record this tutorial, I will be using Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04, Apache, MariaDB, and PHP obtained through XAM 5.6.30, Moodle 3.3, and Firefox web browser. You can use any web browser of your choice. However, Internet Explorer should be avoided as it causes some display inconsistencies. Learners of this tutorial should know how to create categories in Moodle. If not, please refer to the relevant Moodle tutorials on this website. Switch to the browser and open your Moodle homepage. Make sure that XAM service is running. Log in with your admin username and password details. We are now in the admin dashboard. Click on the drawer menu to open the navigation menu on the left. On the left side, click on Site Administration. Click on the Courses tab and then on Manage Courses and Categories. Note that we have only one category here, which is Mathematics, and two subcategories, First Year Maths and Second Year Maths, which we created earlier. Now, let us create a new course under Mathematics. So click on Create New Course. And in the Add a New Course screen, click on Expand All at the top right in order to view all the fields. In the Course Full Name text box, we will type Calculus. In Course Short Name, we will again type Calculus. Course short name will be used in the breadcrumbs and course related emails. This can also be different from the course full name. Course category is Mathematics as we can see. Next option is Course Visibility. By default, Show is selected. The visible setting determines whether the course will be shown along with other courses or not. A hidden course is visible only to those assigned to the course, like admin, course creator, teacher, manager. We will leave this setting as it is for now. Next comes the course start date. If the course begins on a particular date, like semester start date, select that in the start date. This means the course will not be visible to the students till the start date. Course end date by default is enabled and set to the same date that the course is created. Let me disable it by clicking on the checkbox. This would mean that the course will never end. However, if there is an end date for the course, you can enable the checkbox here. Then select the date as per your requirement. Important note. The course will not be visible to the students after the selected end date. I will leave it disabled. Course ID number is similar to category ID number. Course ID number is an optional field. This is for admin users to identify the course with offline courses. If your college uses IDs for courses, then you can use that course ID here. This field is not visible to other Moodle users. This field is optional and is not displayed anywhere on the website. I'm going to leave this as blank. Next, under Description, we can see two fields, Course Summary and Course Summary Files. 
course summary is an optional but important field. That is because the course summary text is also scanned when a user performs a search. Listing topic names is a good idea here. Type the following. Topics covered in this calculus course are limits, graph of a function, factorial. Course summary is also displayed along with the list of courses. Course summary files must be uploaded in course summary files field. By default, only JPG, GIF and PNG file types are allowed as course summary files. I will skip this as I do not wish to upload any file. Course format refers to the way resources and activities are organized for students. There are four options in the format drop-down. Single activity format, social format, topics format and weekly format. There are courses that run week by week. If your course is like that, then select weekly format. Moodle will create a section for each week of the course with a clear start date and an end date. There are courses that run topic wise. If your course is like that, then select topics format. Moodle will create a section for each topic of the course. The default for this field is topics format. We will let it remain as it is. The number of sections by default is 4. If you have your course divided in more or less than 4 topics, change this field as required. I will make this number as 5. We will discuss the other formats in later tutorials. Let's leave the rest of the options as they are. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the Save and Display button. We are redirected to the Enrolled Users page. We will learn about user enrollment in a later tutorial. For now, we have successfully created our first course, Calculus, under the category Mathematics. While we are on this course page, notice that the menu on the left has changed. The navigation menu on the left has menus related to the course we created. These include participants, grades, etc. Click on the course name Calculus on the left. We can see that five topics are visible here. They are named Topic 1, Topic 2 and so on. Recall we had given this number 5 earlier. Click on the gear icon at the top right of the page. Then click on Edit Settings. This will open a page similar to the page we were on when we created this course. We can make changes to the previous settings on this page. I will change the course start date to 15th October 2017. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the Save and Display button. We will explore the other submenus under the Gear menu later. Let us now change the structure of our course a little bit. Click on Site Administration. Click on Courses. And then Manage Courses and Categories. Click on Mathematics Category. To see the course we created. Notice three icons on the right of the course. Hover over the icons to see what they are. The gear icon is for editing a course. The delete or trash icon is for deleting a course. And the eye icon is for hiding 
a course. A hidden course will have the eye crossed to indicate the same. We can click on the gear icon to the right of the course name to edit the course settings. I want to modify the course summary and add binomials to the existing topics. Rest of the settings can remain the same. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and this time click on the Save and Return button. Here is a small assignment for you. Create a new course, Linear Algebra, under the category Mathematics. Hide this course for now. Mention the following topics in course summary. Linear equations, matrices and vectors. Click on Save and Return button. Pause the tutorial and continue when done with the assignment. We now have two courses under Mathematics. Calculus and Linear Algebra. Notice that a new icon has appeared next to the courses now. The up and down arrows are to rearrange the order of the courses. We can also change the order using the drag and drop feature. Let us move the calculus course above the linear algebra course. Both these courses are for first year students. So let us move them under the first year maths subcategory. Check the checkbox to the left of the two courses in order to select them. Then in the drop down Move Selected Courses to select Mathematics First Year Maths and click on the Move button. We get a success message. Successfully moved two courses into First Year Maths. Note that the number of courses under Mathematics has become zero and that under First Year Maths is 2. Click on First Year Maths subcategory. We can see our courses listed under this subcategory. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt how to create a course, how to perform actions like edit, move, etc. on courses. Here is an assignment for you. Add two courses to the subcategory Second Year Maths under Mathematics, namely Multivariable Calculus and Advanced Algebra. Refer to assignment code file of this tutorial for details. Edit the courses to start on 15th October 2017. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This script has been contributed by Priyanka and this is Nancy Verki along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thanks for joining.